Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Weissman 4 and welcome back. Sorry it's been a little while, but I've been working on my Android app for quite a bit trying to get it up to date with the recent Don't Starve update, the stuff of nightmares. But now that that's done, it's time to get back to some programming tutorials. And I wanted to get, catch you guys with part 5, which I promised would be on buttons. And I figured, what better way to show you how to make a button than to show you also how to make a toast. Toasts are those little kind of, um, well, they're kind of probably going to be easier to explain if you see them, but they're these little, like, message boxes that pop up in Android, and they can be a user message or, um, a machine message, anything you want it to be that could tell the user something about what they just did. It could be really short or, and simple or something a little bit more complicated, so I'll show you what they are, you'll see them, and you'll, trust me, you'll know what they are once you see them, and this shows you how to make those and how to make one pop up when you click a button. Okay, so first, all right, let's make a project. So file, new, we're going to go through all our stuff like we normally do. Oh, dang it, if I could freaking click things, new, Android application project. Let's make this button with a toast, button with a toast, okay. Next, that's a little, probably a terrible name for this project, but I mean, nah, it works. It's what we're doing, we're making a button that displays a toast message. Okay, main activity, yeah, that's fine. So we'll finish, and we have this. We have this in relative layout to start. I don't want this in relative layout like I said in my last video in part 4. I do most things in linear layouts. So, I'm going to remove you. We're going to go to the graphical layout. If you want to really quickly do these, it's real easy to do this. You take linear layout, set it vertical, shove it in there. Voila, your code for basic linear layouts already set up. That's all you really need. Then, we're going to make ourselves a text view. All right, so, and like I said in my last video, you really should get in the habit of doing everything in, like you would do at string, and then whatever the variable is that contains your message for this string, or text, should be in the string variable. I'm going to do that in part six, because it's more of a, um, kind of a higher up skill, when, for what we're doing, it doesn't matter for in this context if you just put the text in here so I'm gonna physically type out what I want to say our button project and then set its layout width there we go. and then we're gonna set its text size so text size let's make it since this is kind of our header make it like 35 SP that should be good now we have our text box set up then we're going to make our button. So, buttons in Android generally, they have a basic layout and a very simple button built into the OS that you can just call. You don't have to do any kind of graphical stuff with it. Nothing, you don't have to change anything about this button to make this button work, which is what is awesome. So, if I wanted to make this button work, all I would have to do is physically code in a button object in XML. What we're going to do is type in button, make a button object. And... How this button is going to work is pretty simple because basically all we're going to do is in the on click function is show a toast message. So right now, let me make the button in our XML code. So we need an ID. An ID is something in Android that allows the Java program to reference something in its display XML file, its layout file. So we're going to do Android ID. God dang it. ID. It's equal to, and you get these options. Go to at add ID. So basically what this actually means is you're going to add an ID to this button. So we're going to do that, and then you name the ID. So this is going to be button 1. That'd be fine. And then we set the size of it. Now this object button, this button right here, is going to appear in the layout directly underneath of this text view. So ID... Button 1, Android, layout width is going to be, um, let's have it match parent, but I'll show you something else, too, that we're going to do, because I don't want to take it up the whole screen. Layout height, let's set it to, I normally do for buttons like 50 DIP, that normally looks right, and then Android, and then let's do um, padding. Padding is physically going to change the shape of the object. So we're going to do 5 DIP, or no, let's do 10, it'll be more noticeable. 10 DIP to the left, 
and padding right is going to be 10 DIP. So this is going to move the button in. Say the button is this long. It's going to move the button and have a 10, in, 10 DIP margin on either side of it from that and that the edge of the screen because we told it to match the size of the parent which is the whole screen so what this is going to do is give a 10 um, padding on either side now we want to add text to our button so Android and you do this just like you did with a text you text and then we're, what we're going to put here is whatever we want our button to say so click me for toast there we go so now our button is going to physically say that right on the button and then what we're going to want to do is do Android. Now this is what controls how this button works, what happens when you click it. So on click is equal to and now you could tell it to go to any one of these things. We're not gonna do that. We don't need to. We're gonna just do this and then we're gonna go to na the name of our function. Go to toast. And now we have our button. Now like you can see with these texts these little um, warnings are hard-coded string. It wants it in the string resource. Again, like I said, it doesn't matter for this project. We'll get into that much later right now, but for now, it doesn't matter. You can just keep them in there. So let's go to our main activity, Java, and open it up. Here we are. We have our menu bar and all our stuff like normal. It goes to activity main. But what I want to do is make the function that calls toast. This is very simple, and I do this simpler than they do in like a lot of the textbooks too, because they way overcomplicate this with all the Java code. It is very, very easy to do this. So, public void go to toast. As you recall, this name I just typed in is the exact same thing that we typed here. It has to be verbatim, all capitals the same, all lowercase the same, no spaces, all that. It's the same exact thing. So, go to toast. And it's a view, so we're going to do view v, and there you go. And now view, the view object is a built-in class in Android. It is not imported yet. So these are the generic import statements that you bring in. I haven't been over this stuff yet in the tutorials, but if you ever have one of these pop up and it's underlined for some reason, the first thing you should do instead of checking to see if you typed something wrong, is go over here or highlight it like I just did, click this, and go import view class. And then it's going to go import android.view.view. Now you can import these by hand if there's stuff ahead of time that you know you want to use. But this makes it really easy as you're going so you don't have to waste time doing that. Alright, so then we have this. Now we want to make our toast. What do, what do we want our toast to say? It's going to just say some short little simple message. But it has to have a couple pieces. So, first we're going to do toast. And we can do this all in one line. So, make text and you get these two options text dot well parenthesis and then we w we need some kind of context something that it's going to appear on well in this case it's our activity so we're going to do main activity dot this oh lordy i don't know why it sent me over there dot this that should all be in there so, and you see how that's no longer red and underlined like it's evil and terrible? That's because we're now, it, the, this co toast's context is this activity. And then, what we're going to do is, the middle part is our string, whatever we want our string to be. Now, you could put a variable in here, like I could make a string variable up here, and do string, um, what do we want our string to be named, um, our str, it's equal to... The world. So we could have a string, our str, and put it in here. And it would actually display hello world in the toast. Or what you could physically do is just put gobbledygook in there and it would actually spit out the text that you put in there through the parentheses. But we're going to do it the neat way and make a string object up here and put hello world in there through our str. You could actually call a string id too in here from the Java code in the um, string values file in, in that XML like it was asking for in here for this stuff where it wants it to be. You could do that in the main activity too and I'll show you how to do that all when I get into the string section which is going to be pretty soon. Alright, so now we have our string and we have its context. The last piece we need is telling it how long you want it to displace for. So we're going to do toast dot 
and then this the, you wait and this thing will come up so you don't have to type it all out and it can be either length long or length short or you could put in a specific value for how long you want this sucker to be I do not advise doing that either do your length short or your length long and I normally do length short because short is long enough nobody wants to see that thing up on the screen for freaking ever and then you have that now we're not done yet we have all of our pieces of our toast and that would be fine we could end it there but our toast isn't going to actually display because you have to do something called dot at the end of this show. Now our toast will show. Okay, so we have our button, we have our toast, we have it doing something inside the buttons function. This is this here is our buttons function that it calls when the button is clicked. So let's go ahead and start this. You need to start up your emulator. It's an Android application. Yes, sir should start my emulator up automatically so we have our thing up it popped up on our emulator and here's our button with a toast project it says our button project which is our top text piece alright guys my bad with the DIP piece it's gotta be layout margin right and layout margin left for it to change its actual size that's why I wasn't doing anything because padding will work with images it won't work with buttons and that was a simple mistake that I just forgot about but generally if you want to change the size of the button there we go now you see the padding on either side that worked it's the padding works with pictures you you should normally use layout margin right or layout margin left because this will actually move it around the padding is actually going to physically change the size of the picture and the scaling of the picture I didn't think about that with buttons because I haven't done it like that in a long time but for now, just do layout margins instead of the padding. It'll actually save your picture's quality a little bit that way. I am sorry about that, but this will work. Layout margin right, layout margin left. And as you can see, that did change the padding on either side. So that was my bad. But okay, so now we have our button here. Now we want to click it. Let's see what happens. So click me for toast. And there it is. That is what a toast is, that thing that pops up in the bottom there. You see that popping up, hello world? And you can change that if you wanted that to show for longer. You would do length dot long or length underscore long here. But we're not going to do that. Now I want to show you guys what happens if you do don't have the dot show in there. For one, you're going to get this yellow underlined error and saying you don't want to show it. But we don't in this case because I just want to show you guys what happens if you don't. So no, 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 no. nothing happens. You need to have that dot show in there for a toast to appear. And you can move the toast around on the screen, too. Using stuff in Java here, you can move it around. It's positioning on the screen and all that inside of a layout object. Or what you can do is actually make a toast object in here in the XML and have this call to that toast object when you make it. And this can display change where the toast displays that on the screen. And that's actually a more easier, I prefer way to do it. Because that way, you don't have all that layout structure going on in the Java file and in the XML because it can get confusing. It's better to do it all in one place than jump around. Okay, so that shows you guys how to make a simple button and how to make a toast appear after you click it. Next week, I'm going to probably get into strings and how to do some stuff with strings. I am going back to school this week. So I'm going to be a little bit more busy, but I should be able to get one of these tutorial videos up at least once a week. That's my plan, probably on around Friday nights or Saturdays. Sometime upload something in that period. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this was helpful. Let me know what kind of projects you guys are working on or anything that you're interested in knowing. I could do with some more advanced stuff or I can keep going on at the pace I'm going. Just let me know. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one.